Okay, so this is our first lesson of Book Above Pay Grade, and our book is George's Marvellous Medicine by Roald Dahl. So our first bit is our wordy warm-up. Would anyone like to read the first word? Do you want to? Need a phonics? Turnips. Good, yeah. And what is a turnip? Fruit vegetable. And it looks like this. And it's a noun. It's the name of an object, so it's a noun. Okay? And the other word, do you want to read it? See in the story, is laundry. And that is washing of your clothes. Yeah? yeah? And that's a noun because it's the name of something. Okay. So before I start reading the pages from our book above pay grade, these are your reading vipers. So I'm going to read them to you and you need to listen out for the answers because I'm going to read them in the story. Okay, so question one, retrieval. What was in the round cardboard carton? Question two, retrieval. What colour is grandma's medicine? Tick one. Blue, red, brown or blue? Number three. Number three. <laughs> Inference. Why do you think he coloured it with brown shoe polish? Okay, are you ready for me to read the story out? Okay, page 22. There was a bottle of perfume called Flowers of Turnips. It smelled of old cheese. In it went, and in, Two went a large round box of powder. It was called pink plaster. There was a powder puff on top and he threw that in as well for luck. He found a couple of lipsticks. He pulled the greasy red thing out of their case and added them into the mixture. The bedroom had nothing more to offer. So George carried the enormous saucepan downstairs again and trotted into the laundry room where the shelves were full of all kinds of household items. The first one he took down was a large box of super white for automatic washing machines. Dirt, it said. It will disappear like magic. George didn't know whether Grandma was automatic or not, but she was certainly a dirty old woman. So she better have all of it, he said, tipping the whole boxful into the medicine. Then there was a big waxwell floor polish. It removes filth and foul messes from your floor and leaves everything shiny and bright, it said. George scooped the orange coloured waxy stuff out of the tin and plonked it into the pan. There was a round cardboard carton and on it it said flea powder for dogs. Ooh. Keep well away from the dog's food, it said, because this powder, if eaten, will make the dog explode. Page 24. Good, said George, pouring all of it into the saucepan. He found a box of canary seed on the shelf. Perhaps it'll make the old birds sing, he said, and in it went. Next, George explored the box with shoe cleaning materials, brushes and tins and dusters. Well now, he thought, Grandma's medicine is brown, so my medicine must also be brown or she'll smell like a rat. The way to colour it, he decided, would be using brown shoe polish because Grandma's medicine was brown. The large tin he chose was labelled dark tan colour. Splendid! He scooped it all out with an old spoon and plopped it into the pan. He would stir it up later. On his way back to the kitchen, George saw a bottle of gin standing on the sideboard. Grandma was very fond of this gin. She was allowed to have a small nip of it every evening. Now he would give her a treat. He would pour the whole bottle in, and he did. Back in the kitchen, George put the huge saucepan on the table. I'm going to stop there. Here are the pages of the book if you need them to find the answers. Have a go at answering those vipers and write them down before we tell you the answers. So, we're going to tell you the answers, but before we do that, we want you guys at home to write down the answers and pause the video now. And then when you come back on, we are going to tell you the answers to the reading vipers. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Question one, answer. What was in the round cardboard carton? Flea powder. What colour is grandma's medicine? Tick one. Brown. Why do you think he coloured it with brown shoe polish? Because grandma's medicine was brown, so she wouldn't notice the shoe polish. Have you 
you guys had a go at home and got the answers right too. See you soon.